Hello, everybody. Uh, as you can see, once again, I have forgotten. It is Monday, and that means that I am filming in my truck again, because everybody's already asleep. And I think this is going to be a thing that happens when I forget to film. And it's really late, I'm just going to come out here and film in my truck. So you have that to look forward to. Couple officially things to take care of before we get started. 100! Yay! This is 100! Uh, we just hit 100 videos. This is the 100th video. And we should commemorate that by doing something. I'm not sure what. Maybe we'll finally uh, do the tag game that we were tagged in like months ago, it feels like. Or maybe not! We'll see! Because we're all busy people. Uh, Katie, after listening to you and Jeff and Spencer talk, I, I kind of have come up with three things that people kind of tend to disassociate from each other. Um, and these are kind of three of the bigger ideas. I think, uh, Katie, this is the second week in a row in which you have mentioned religion, and I'm going to, like you, only touch on it because it's a, it's a very powerful thing, uh, the subject of religion. And uh, the other two things are art and science. And I think these are the three things that people kind of disassociate with each other. Um, some definitely more than others. Some people can associate science and religion really well. Uh, other people can associate art and religion really well. Some people can even associate science and art really well together. But I think, really, these things are kind of separated in the world we live in nowadays. I think it's very silly, too, because I think these are three very powerful ideas. And these are three very powerful concepts uh, found within where we currently live in this society and the technology and the way just everything's moving and us as people these are three things that we tend to look at very very deeply these are three of the deepest subjects i think that we can be discussing i love art i love science and i love my religion and those are some of the things that are just very interesting to me because i've grown up uh loving uh science and art especially, trying to use them both, like use art and science, and use science and art. And in the theater program where I used to work, everyone was like, that's James, he thinks like an engineer. And in the engineering and in the robotics team that I was on, everyone was like, that's James, he's an artist. And it's kind of weird that people can do that and look at those eye aspects of me when really they should be swapped. It's very fascinating. That happens. Because these are three very powerful ideas, but they're also very intertangleable, especially in my life, apparently. Also, Jeff, your video on Friday, I didn't even know you had a clone! That is one of my new favorite videos, I actually favorited it. Arts and science and religion, and they're all very interesting, and I think they're all very respectable things, and they, they each hold their own separate set of power within modernness. Spencer, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.